guys, I didn't get time to vlog, um, but hello divas and dudes out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is welcome to my channel, Diva Kiki. Um, I did not get a chance to vlog before I left home, so I'm on my way to the women's conference. So I'll try to get footage. Foot, I will try to get footage tonight, but I am not gonna promise y'all guys, cause your girl be getting the spirit, and I just, yeah. <laughs> so um yeah i was doing an outfit of the day video and then we got a not uh our doorbell rang my brother came to bring my brother something to eat i mean my brother came to bring my son something to eat so um uh we had to cut doing that so i'm gonna have to do it when i get back home um because we were in the middle of doing the vlog but yeah um yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, trying to get here because I'm trying to get here early to church so that I can get a seat. So I'm a little early tonight. Um, but I'm glad I am because I'm trying to get a seat. So, yeah. Um, I'm taking my flats with me in there today. Y'all, let me show you the bag they gave us. The bag that they gave us is really, really nice. I'm going to have to show you what's in the bag when I get back home. But this is the bag that they gave us. It says heartbeat, which is the theme of the, um, it is the theme, um, which is called heartbeat. Um, it's the theme of the topic. Um, but, uh, so I'm here and, um, I think I'm going to take my flat stand with me tonight. So we were standing for a long time last night, but last night was also a, um, worship the entire time with singing and worship tonight. There's going to be pre preaching. And I don't know if a lot of you know about, um, Sheila Walsh. Walsh. Sheila Walsh is um sorry I got candy in my mouth and I can't talk. Um Sheila Walsh is um coming tonight. I was a fan of hers when I was a when I was uh, growing up and never thought in my life that I would get to see her in person. So yeah. Um Sheila Walsh, I don't know. It's she's she's um a Caucasian artist. Worshipper, worship music. I'm sorry, I've had to put some Altoids in my mouth because I ate some salsa and verde earlier. And I meant to brush my teeth. I meant to brush my teeth before I left. Well, because I'm rushing. Yeah, you know the deal. So I got some Altoids in my mouth. And I'm about to put on my heels. Y'all, look at my heels I'm wearing tonight. Not too high, which is unlike me. I got these things from the thrift store. Like two years ago and I never even worn them never even worn them I think I paid 20 bucks for them they're 9 West paid 20 bucks for them they haven't even been worn look so that's what I'm wearing tonight um putting them on now they are a size bigger than what I normally wear so I'm hoping that they don't stretch um, but right now they feel pretty comfortable, but I hope they don't stretch, but they're nine West. So, and I only pay like 20 bucks for them. So who cares? All right. So let me get in and I'll try to get footage and I'll talk to you guys later. I know that there's a better place that you can be as a daughter of God than in the house of God next to your sisters in Christ, declaring the goodness of the Lord over them. So I'm going to ask you to do a favor and I keep apologizing to the poor introverts because I keep doing non-introvert things. I make you touch each other, I make you talk to each other. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> and I'm an introvert. Okay, guys, so <laughs> here's the deal. I did not get a lot of footage um, of tonight. Now, let me explain why. Because worship was high. Worship was good. Um, so, sorry. And the thing is, is that Sheila Walsh, she was really, really good. Oh my goodness. The lady was awesome. She told about her life, man. I didn't even know she went through all of that. 
See, you never know any, you never know somebody's story, man. You never know. Mm. She had an awesome testimony. Awesome testimony. And when I tell you awesome testimony, seriously. Um man, she she opened up the altar at the end of her sermon and she was like, anybody that want to come up and release all that hurt and all that stuff you done been through and just release it and I watched like five people go up and then I just all of a sudden I felt myself just rising up and walking up and I put, kneeled on that altar y'all and I snotted and cried okay yes excuse my language i snotted and cried and i just boohooed and i just boohooed and i just boohooed and she said this powerful prayer that that's not who you are you're 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 gonna succeed and you're gonna i mean she just she was like, um, if you ever did adultery, he forgave you. And he she just started naming all these things. And she's like, God forgave you. And and then she was like, because you, you're you going to go somewhere. It was just, y'all, I just can't even. I'm so full right now. Well, I'm full with the Holy Spirit, but physically, I'm hungry. Okay? <laughs> I'm so hungry. I don't know what it is with me going in service the last two nights and I come home starving, man. And it's prob probably because I don't get a chance to eat dinner before I go. And I'm used to eating dinner in the evenings now. So, um, when one time in my life I didn't even eat dinner. Like, I would eat a big lunch and that was pretty much it. But now I've got my body immune to eating dinner. And I didn't eat I ate lunch at between, between 3.30 and 4. No, 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 no. I ate lunch between 4 and 5. And... That's when I ate, and so when I, I'm a sister hungry, like, and I ain't had no meat, I just had a uh, I made a pizza, pita bread, pizza, what, I don't know, uh, it was just a thin piece of pizza with some um cheese and mushrooms. I ain't had no meat, so you know, I ain't got no base in my stomach right now, so I'm just sitting like, you know what, dude, but now I'm going down there, and I'm gonna make me some more spinach dip, because it was so good last night, and I have got to eat it again. It was delicious, okay? It was delish, um, but yeah, I, your girl, I just went on and just went up there, kneeled on the alt to just put my head down, and I just let it all out. Everything. Every single thing. So yeah, um Um I'm just coming to close out this video. I don't want to do another 20 minute closing video cuz then I'm going to have to do a lot of editing. But um your girl, I did my makeup tonight. I wore a color that I haven't worn in a very very long time, which is my purple and my lavender color. Um, I'm trying to get back into, I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. I'm trying to get back into using a lot of my other, other than my Mac. Because this is not Mac on my eyes tonight. And you see it's still held up after all that crying. Um, but I'm trying to get into all of my other makeup palettes that I have. I have a lot of makeup palettes, y'all. Because y'all know that I used to do, um, be a... Well, I used to do makeup for weddings. So I was a makeup artist and I used to do ma makeup for weddings, um, proms and things like that. So I used to do that. So I have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of palettes. Um, and so now I'm like, since I'm not doing that anymore, I'm trying to basically use up my palettes that I have. That's why I don't buy makeup anymore unless I run out of something for MAC. I don't buy no new... I buy, you know, new foundation, of course, but I don't buy no new eyeshadows and stuff, y'all, because I have so many eyeshadows. So, I'm trying to use them all up. This palette that I used tonight is an older palette I had, and it's actually a wet and wild palette. I just realized it, but I don't want to turn it over because part of it is chipping on that end, and I don't want it to fall out, but this is the pilot. The, pa the pilot. This is the palette. <laughs> um... I wish I could tell you the name of it, y'all, but, uh, 
it's all gone because it used to be in my makeup bag that I toted around every day um, because I would wear this color a lot. I'm surprised I still have some because I killed this color. Like, I would wear this all the time to church and all that good stuff. And, yeah. But, um, I was going to wear my contacts tonight, right? Because I haven't worn contacts in a while. So, I pulled out my stuff, right? And then I thought about it. And I was like, ain't no need to wear no contacts. And your tail probably going to be up there crying. And contacts, we done cried out your ass. So, I just went on and wore my, 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 my glasses. <laughs> It's like, ain't no need. I'm going to have to break my contacts back in on another day. But today won't the day. Tomorrow ain't going to be the day either. Because we got to. I got to be there early. I got to get an outfit together for tomorrow morning. Um, because I don't even know what I want to wear. Dear Jesus. But I got to get an outfit together for tomorrow morning. Um, because we're closing out on the women's conference tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be there at nine. Um, yeah. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you enjoying it. Enjoy your Friday. I like this lipstick. This is what I should have wore last night. I really like this lipstick, y'all. Hmm. She's fierce. All right. All right. I like, I like her. And of course, so what I said I was going to do, right, because I know I'm not a morning person. And matter of fact, let me see if I got something to put it up with. And I don't. I don't have no band or nothing in here because I keep all that stuff in my bathroom. So, this is the deal. Because your girl is not a morning person. We all know this, okay? She's not a morning person. Therefore, what she's going to do is try to sleep in her wig tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, uh, I'm going to try. Now, through the night, the way I sleep, she might be laid over there on the floor or something. Because once I get frustrated, I can't handle it. <laughs> I like to be free when I go to bed. <laughs> free. <laughs> See, this is why I ain't got no hood. Because <laughs> if he wake up and see me looking toe out the frame, he ain't going to want to be with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm making my own stuff laugh. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Because if he wake up and he went to bed with her looking like this, and then she wake up looking like silly, <laughs> she going to be like, what the what? But anyway, so this is what we're going to do. See, what we're going to do is, I'm going, I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her back like this, right? And I'm going to put her in a, oh, that look cute. I'm going to have to wear it like that. I'm going to put her, I'm going to put her in a, in a thing. And then I'm going to put my, my satin cap on. And then tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to fluff her out. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be having makeup tomorrow morning. Now, I might do just some brows and just a lipstick and call it a day because it's going to be early. And ain't nobody got time to get up on a Saturday morning and do no makeup. So, she might just have on a loud lipstick and just a brow and call it a day. Cause, and it's going to be a natural brow. There ain't going to be no highlighting and all that. Okay, so that's what she planned to do. So if she decided to do a video in the morning, you won't know why, okay? Because <laughs> she's not a morning person. I ain't even going to lie. I am not a morning person. Anyway, um, I got a, this weekend I wanted, after I come from this conference, I'm going to tell you the God knows truth. I'm getting slammed straight in the bed because a sister is tired. Huh. And then I thought I was going to get to stay home all day Sunday, but then we have a business meeting at church. And if I don't go, I can't sign the contract to say I'm a member again. Because at my church, every year, you have to sign a contract to say that you are, well, not a contract. It's an agreement. You sign an agreement to say, I, I wish to be a member here another year. And to be honest, y'all, I like that. Okay, I like that. And last year was the first year I experienced it. And I was like, oh, wow. When I went to the, the yearly business meeting and I was like, 
they was like you you signed the um you sign the agreement if you want to be a member again if you don't want to be a member again then you don't have to sign it like who does that seriously what church does that first of all let's get real honest y'all what black church do that tell me hmm i've been in church all my life y'all tell me i'm listening mm, i'm listening I don't hear nothing. Right. Because none of us do that because we in it to death. We in it till we die. <laughs> so last year when I, I had went to the meeting and we had to sign an agreement, I was like, seriously, who does this? But I like it because it does not make you feel like you are bound or it doesn't make you feel like you're obligated to be at that church another year. If God have called you somewhere else, you just don't sign the contract. And then that way you're not a member there anymore. See, what it is, is that we are scared we're going to lose money and folk. But when you give people the, how can I say it? When you give people the options, you're going to find out that you can have more people that way than making people stay. Mm -hmm. And that's a word right there. Than making people stay. Because when I tell you, I, I'd be happy to sign my contract. And so that's why I was like, man, I'm tired, but I'm going to have to get up and go to this meeting so I can sign this contract. Because I, our sister is trying to be enrolled another year. And just like the ministries that you participate on, any ministry that you're you're on, you have to sign an agreement um, for that as well. So being that I'm on the worship ministry and the choir ministry, I have to sign another agreement um, saying I want to participate in that another year. I love it. I love it, y'all. I loves it. Because that way, if I feel like I'm being led just to sit down a year or sit down for a little while, all I have to do is just sign, not sign it. Like, don't, don't fill it out. I mean, that's how it is. And that's what I like. And when I, I was blown away. I'm sorry. I was crying so much at church that all my allergies and stuff went up here. So I'm a little, I got to use my, um, um, what's the stuff I use? I can't think of the name of it. Um, my nasonex, um, before I go to sleep because I got to clear all that up. But yeah, I, when I went last year and they told me that that's what it was about and that's what, and when the pastor got up and he explained it, I was like, wow. Like, I was blown away, y'all. I was like, okay, well, the church I come from. Now, uh, I'm not trying to be funny, but I, I used to be on the Church of God in Christ. So, I was Pentecostal. So, and I have nothing against Kojic. I have nothing against Pentecostal because I'm still Pentecostal at heart. Even though my allergies, uh, even though I'm not at a Pentecostal church, I mean, my church got everybody, Pentecostal, Catholic, everybody, all of us in one, like Baptist, whatever you are, we all in one place. So I love that because it's a variety and not the same thing. So, um, but when I was cogent slash Pentecostal, you sign you you on that road book you in it for life <laughs> unless you decide to jump up and go to another church and then you gotta have a letter sent fr from the new church to tell your old pastor that you left and all this stuff i ain't got time for that i when i when the lord told me it was time for me to leave my church that i grew up in all my life i gave my pastor a letter I didn't even know what church I was going to be going to then because the Lord hadn't told me yet. But I was like Peter out on the water looking crazy and about the saint because I'm sitting here like, okay, God, you got me out here now what? after a couple of weeks. But I turned in my letter and I did everything according to protocol, which is a cogent word, protocol. So I did everything according to protocol and I made sure that I did it. Protocol mean y'all the right way if you don't know. Um, so yeah, so I did everything in order in the right way so that I don't have no so I can go back whenever I want to go visit them whenever I want to things like that because I don't want no bad blood. So basically, I didn't want to do have bad blood or burn the bridges, such as people say, burn the bridges. So, um, but yeah, it was no you sign 
Because if they had people to sign, people wouldn't sign no more. <laughs> people wouldn't have re-sign every year. So, you know, we, co uh, we coach ain't going to do that because you're going to lose members. But when you have a body and the body of your church is multi, multi-ethnic, multi multi-colored multi, uh, church, um, that means black, white, Chinese, uh, no matter African, everybody. And then you got different people from different backgrounds. You got Pentecostals, people from Pentecostal right there. People from Catholic, that used to be Catholic right there. People that used to be Baptist right there. People that used to be AME right there. All of us are in one place and we worshiping together. That's how it's going to be in heaven. It ain't going to be no Church of God and Christ only heaven. Baptist only heaven. Ain't going to be none of that. It's going to be a, col a collaboration of everybody. I like that. I like that. It's going to be a collaboration of everybody. So that's why I like the fact that when you have a, a, a multicultural body like that, that you giving your people the option, you're not pressuring them, you, you will get more people that will work with you and stay because they're getting the word of God. And when they're getting the word of God, all they worried about is just coming back again and worshiping and getting the word. That's it. So I say that to say that I'm going to be signing my contract again so I can be there another year. <laughs> For me and my son. So that's why my the topic, the, the sum of the whole story is I'm signing my contract again. So I got to get my butt out the house so I can sign it. Whether I'm sleepy or not. So, and the business meeting is only an hour. So, but yeah, I just had to come on and talk about that. Because I last year, I didn't do a video about that because I wasn't doing videos in January of last year. But yeah, so I'm going to sign my contract. It's not, I keep saying contract. It is not a contract. It's an agreement. An agreement between you and the church saying, I am going to be a member here another year. So, and they don't ask for anything. It just it simply says, uh, I'm going to still believe in the same beliefs. I'm still going to believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. All of that is on there um, because we believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We're not in any denomination, but we believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. There you have it. So, with that said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell over there so that you can know when I have new uploaded videos. And be the best you that you can be. Alright, bye.